Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Garage. So I've got an update on my lead time batteries. As you can see, I've got 24 of them behind me, but I've had an issue with one of them to where I was initially able to turn it on. The BMS uh, turned on and was able to charge it up to 100%. But then ever since then, the BMS is shut off. So I've tried a few different chargers to, uh, to, to wake it up. I've tried my, uh, solar charger used to have a Victron and, and that would send, um, you know, it would try to charge the batteries and it, it wouldn't wake that one back up. And then I had another charger, but it wasn't a zero, uh, volt charger that it, it just, it couldn't wake up the battery. So I spoke to Catherine at lead time and I said, Hey, I've got these batteries order 24 of them. I've got one that's not working correctly. You know, what can you do to help me? So Catherine, uh, loaned this to me. She said that she would ship out this, uh, battery charger that they make. Uh, she says it does have the ability to wake up, uh, the BMS on it. And if there's any sort of issues, you know, it may work. Now, Catherine did say if this doesn't work, she will send me a replacement battery. So uh, the support at uh, lead time is, is something that I am happy with uh, thus far. I would like to review more of their batteries, uh, if at all possible. But let's see first what this does and see if it uh, fixes it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the battery, you can see uh, right here that I've got this one breaker turned off and it's actually this battery pair right here. So I'm going to check and see real quick which one of the two that it was again. And then we're going to see if we can get it, you know, bring it back from the dead. All right, so checking the first battery out, the one in the front. And I am getting 26.55 volts. So this one is uh, is the good one. Let me go to the second one back here. And I apologize. I know that you guys probably can't see it. Check this back one. It is saying 3.4 volts. Okay. So obviously that is much lower. And it seems like that the BMS has turned off and I can verify that over here. So if you look at my, uh, my disconnects, show you this real quick, you'll see, you'll see that typically on, uh, on each one, let me find the ground here. We'll use that. If you check on this first one, let me just, uh, let me flip this one off first. Check on this first one. You'll see it's 52.26. Hopefully you can see that on the meter. And uh, now when I check the second one, and this is how I knew that I had an issue, 29.56. So there's a big difference between 52.27 and... Uh, 29 point, uh, well, six, five, six, four, what have you, but you could see that it went down. So that's the issue that I'm having. Let me flip this one back on. And, uh, now I'm going to plug in my charger. Let's see what it does. So first it's going to open it up. Hopefully you can see this positive to the positive, uh, negative to the negative. So I don't see it really doing anything at all. And uh, looking at my uh, pet ground, it's not really drawing any power. So here's my pet ground down here. You can see that 20 watts are uh, coming in. AC out is just saying 7 watts. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what this is doing, but I don't think it's doing anything. It's just blinking.
All right, let me do this. Let me power it off, um, connect it back up, see if there's any difference. If there's no difference, then looks like I probably need to have the battery replaced. All right, so now the moment of truth. Let's see where we're at. So let me turn off this first breaker again just to show you once again what the rating should be. So I should be seeing around 52.16 thereabouts. Probably be a little bit higher, but let's see. Now I'm going to try this one and 29.75. So that, um, that second battery never turned back on. So that's unfortunate. All right, so next what I'm gonna to have to do is reach back out to Catherine at lead time and ask her to send a replacement battery. Um, would like to keep this charger if I can, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely need a replacement battery. Once I have that, then I could have uh, that uh, 48 volt pair going and I'll be at full capacity. Um, where it should be at. But honestly, it's doing great even with the batteries that I have. So that's about it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.